Hi YouTube, in this tutorial I will show you guys how to exclude your privileges if the target machine is running Unify video. So I will just go uh, quickly over this uh, exploit here. So it gives us a quick introduction to this uh, exploit. So it says that Unify video is a powerful and flexible integrated IP video management surveillance system designed to work with Ubiquiti's Unify video camera product line. So this is just a quick introduction. You can read more if you want. It gives information about the vulnerability. So just basically uh, what it does is uh, whenever we are uh, stopping and starting this Unify video service, it will go into this C program data Unify video directory. So this is the directory it will first go to. And inside this directory, it will check for a file called taskkill.exe. So if this file exists, whenever we start this service, it will execute this file. So by default, we don't have this file inside this, this uh, inside that directory. So in here, um, let me just quickly go over this one. So in here, uh, you can see that uh, we, uh, I'm inside this C program Unify video directory. And if I do a who am I? So I am currently logged in as user Stacy and the name of the computer is Giri. So if you're familiar with Hack the Box platform, I will be using the Giri box from Hack the Box. So in here, you can see that I am um, logged in as a Stacy. And what I will do is I will exclude my privileges. Uh, so the first thing that we have to do is we have to generate our payload. So the command to generate our payload is MSF Venom. So this is the command that I use to generate my payload. Uh, next, I uh, use Ebola to encrypt my payload so that Windows Defender doesn't stop it. There is a Metasploit module for it as well, for evading Windows, um, Windows Defender if you want to use that as well. I have created tutorials for both of those in my channel. Uh, so next, uh, in here, if I do a let's, let's share reverse, so in here you can see that there is my file in here which has been encrypted. So what I can do is I can run um, HTTP server, the HTTP server module from uh, Python. So it will uh, create a HTTP server. I can quickly use, um, I can quickly copy this reverse shell from this server in here. However, you can see that I've already copied it. So in here, if you check, this is taskkill.exe. I have used wget to copy it. So the it's very easy. All you have to do is type in wget HTTP and the IP address, which in this case, my IP address is 10.10.4.16. The port is 8,000 and the name of the file, which was reverse shell.exe and O for the output and the name of the file that we want is taskkill. So this is important part. The name of the file has to be taskkill. So this is the name of the file. So if you run it, it will copy it to this local directory in here. So next what we have to do is we have to stop this service, unify uh, video service. So it will stop it, then we have to start the service. So next what you have to do is um, we have to start it, so start service, unify, video, service. So when we start it, let's just quickly create our listener. So when we start the service, what it will do is it will run the payload and we will get a reverse connection back. So in here it started it, however, unfortunately we weren't listening. So let's just again quickly stop the service. It is going to take a few seconds for this service to stop. So let's, uh, until it stops, let's just quickly go over this one here. Uh -huh. So yes, that's good. Uh, it stopped it and it started and we got our uh, reverse connection. So if I go back to this one in here, we saw that our payload, it was uh, connect, it would connect back to us on port 443. So in here, you can see that I am listening on port 443 and it got, we got a reverse connection. So this time, if I run a who am I? So it says that I am system privileges. Previously it was Stacy, now I have system level privileges. So in here it's uh, still uh, trying to stop it, but in here we saw that we had Stacy. We were logged in as Stacy. However, uh, using this vulnerability, we escalated our privilege and now we have this, um, we have system level privilege. So this is it for this one, guys. If you found this tutorial useful, make sure to share it with your friends. And if you have any uh, suggestions, recommendations, or any comments, please put it in the comment section below. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.